So I'd like to thank you for coming to um, this event. This is the first event of the Center for the Humanities. And uh, when we first started talking about uh, the Center for Humanities, I thought uh, of what the kinds of things I'd like to do. Um, and they involved, one of the things that we never did was to have uh, some kind of, of tribute for what, to, in my mind, one of the most important people on this campus. Certainly, for me being here, the most important person <laughs> on campus. But, um, who also said to us that I, I do not want a memorial. And so we had to deal with that kind of issue. And, and, and I was thinking, well, you know, I don't care if he wants it or doesn't want it. We might do it anyway. <laughs> um, but um, so I, I thought that a wonderful way to think about that task as well as what the kind of direction I would like the center to embody and to brace, the kind of uh, characters is embedded in, in a lot of the work of, of Masao. Uh, and, and I'll explain a, a little bit why. But first, I'd like to thank um, Seth Lair, the Dean of Arts and Humanities, uh, whose support for this, the center for me, uh, is, is, is essential. Uh, Japanese studies, Christina Turner, and, and, and most of you know Japanese studies through Kimberly Bonded, who uh, helped get the travel and hotel arrangements. Um, the literature department, Nina Ziri, uh, and Nancy Daly. Nancy was the person responsible for the, the flyer, the poster, which I, I absolutely love. Um, and, uh, and finally, the library. Um, in, in my mind, one of the key uh, components of humanistic research is the library. A and the library is, is central. That's one of the reasons we're holding it here. Linda Claussen ha has been uh, uh, a terrific supporter of, of this event and, and the things of the library. Okay, um, now, so as a, as a way of introduction, what I'd like to, to say, the things that embody uh, is just, uh, and this photograph is, is um, I, I, just, uh, I, I just think it's, it's brilliant. Um, but it, it, it embodies the reflexivity and, and the need for depth of inquiry, and, and that there's always different layers uh, that we must look into, both into ourselves as researchers, but also in what we're researching. And that, that what's on the surface might, needs, we need to go below that surface. And even if we think we go deep enough, we might have to go deeper. Um, on the, the, we, we use the title trespass, trespassing as active, um, uh, but we take this from the book Trespasses, what, the last edited book that, that Eric Kasdan uh, edited uh, with Masao, and uh, one of Masao's, in fact, his last essay, Liber Literary Elaborations, is in there. And, and this is um, from Gayatri Spivak, who unfortunately sent, sent her regrets, couldn't make it. Um, but she said, you know, uh, my comments are, are encapsulated in, in this statement. And in this uh, wonderful uh, tribute to Masao, uh, Spivak um, mentions a steadfastness to the commitment to the human. And that's one of the things that I think the Humanity Center needs to embody, to justice. And that justice is in the quest of some universalistic, uh, ideal understanding that that universal never exists. Fred Jameson um, statement talks about the unification of the aesthetic and the political, um, the domestic and the international. It's a recognition that categories and disciplines are only heuristic conventions rather than uh, categories that we must defend. In both of these then, there's uh, the evidence of an incredible breadth that spans, I mean, I mean for those of you who, who know parts of, I, I don't know all of Masao's career, even though I like to think I, I did. He starts from Victorian literature, goes through Japanese literature, Japanese history, he's theorists on globalization, uh, had many conversations with him about economics. Um, th then he writes uh, quite, in my mind, cogently on, on the university and the problems of the university moves to ecology, um, and then 
Oh, in between there's art criticism, and then moves on to uh, photography. And we're going to uh, have some of his exhibits. The, the last book, uh, This Is Not Here, is, is on the back table, if, for those of you who haven't seen it. Um, and, and in all of these, there's, it, it exhibits a willingness to learn, a willingness to change, a recognition that where you are right now is not good enough, and, and it's, we, we have to go someplace else. Um, one of my favorite posters is a playfulness, a willingness to play, to ch but that playfulness is combined with a challenge. I mean, you look at this, and you, you look at the title, and you go, oh, man. In fact, I, I think I was, for those of you who read it, I was one of those who, who he, he commented about. One of my friends or colleagues said, said this, because uh, I remember saying that. Um, but you know, you look at that picture, and how could Japan not be interesting when in the 19th century you have a bunch of little kids reading the newspaper? But nevertheless, that juxtaposition, that playfulness, uh, that criticism, questioning where we are today, and, and again, going back to that need to know. Um, and finally, uh, there's. One, the last conference was imminent questions. And, and there's a seriousness that, that is engaged in, here, and a willingness to attack, to, to deal, deal and move into big issues, rather than to retreat into comfort zones. Um, and finally, all of this, and I think this whole meeting embodies it, is that one of the characteristics, and sometimes it's hard to believe that this was actually true, but I really felt it throughout my, my stay, my, my friendship with him here was that Masao has been an extremely supportive person of many of us. And, and that is the last quality of the center that I'd like to embody, is, is a place that's supportive of people, that, but that support is also to challenge and help us all move forward. So. Has the center started yet? What is the Humanity Center here? I don't have a clue. So we're going to get a little bit about that. Uh, the Center for the Humanities is, is um, a, an institution with a name and a place that's starting to get a staff. Uh, it's a staff of one right now, soon to be two. Um, and the, the, the goal of the center is to facilitate interdisciplinary research on, um, it, on it, in humanistic issues, uh, not in the arts and humanities, but beyond the arts and humanities on this campus. Uh, the, the comparable of what I'd like the center to be is something like the IHR at, at Santa Cruz. I mean, that's, that's a, a fine model to, to aspire to, I think. Um, it, it's, it's something that we're building. Activities are going to grow over the next few years. And um, that's kind of one of my new jobs. <laughs> <laughs>